The CRF E2 brings the motorcycling experience to a new pool of customers whose lives are already increasingly powered by electricity. Honda's max power is 2.5 kilowatts, which translates to three and a half horsepower. The CRF E2 also accommodates a range of riders that weigh under 100 pounds. In ideal conditions, Honda claims that they'll be able to run this battery for two hours. It comes with the ultra cool Honda plastics, an aluminum twin spar frame, and it has a swappable battery so you're able to remove the battery. Honda CRF E2 electric minibike. These are the Torot electric motocross bikes. The Motocross 2 also has a 48 volt controller and that can deliver 600 to 1,500 watts of power. The top speed is 25 miles per hour and you can also expect a 45 plus minute runtime with their quick change battery. You can expect a charge time of four hours via the 54 volt charger provided with the bike. The intended age range is six to nine years old with an 88 pound max weight limit. This is a bike for kids that are just starting out in the beginner and novice category. Because Wyatt is a skilled rider, this wouldn't be a bike that's going to come close to the performance of his race bikes. My boys love these motorcycles. This is the way the world is going to the e-bike and uh, it's just super cool to see them so enthused about riding motorcycles. Something about the e-bike just makes them in their heads process. It just seems easier for them. Man, it's just so cool to see them open it up on a bigger track and just have so much fun. The bike handled it, no worries, and the boys were holding on. Oh man, these uh, SXE5s are awesome. First time the boys hopped on them, they just seem to be easier to use, you know? They just take off right away. To be able to just turn it on and take off, pretty awesome. Good boy, good stuff. How'd you guys go? What do you think of the box? I love them. You love them? We got the SX125 opened up, sitting right next to me. And the SX125 is actually just a redesigned version of the MX125. It comes in this green finish, which is actually Jeremy McGrath's signature colorway. Basic specs of the SX125, it has an eight mile an hour top speed, 40 minutes of continuous run time. It has 12 inch wheels. The SX125 also has a kickstand and retractable foot pegs to ensure a safe and steady ride. And as we move back, you guys can see more Jeremy McGrath signature graphics here of all his actual sponsors. So you have stickers all over the bike, as well as the green paint job, just to make the SX125 that much more special. The key to delivering our promise, accelerated growth, is confidence, so we designed for it. The Brushless 16 E-Drive has red, yellow, and green power modes. 
Red mode tops out at five miles per hour, comparable to a brisk walk. Yellow mode tops out at seven and a half miles per hour, equivalent to a fast paced jog. And green mode tops out at 13 miles per hour. It's lightweight, has an easy twist throttle, an ultra low seat, quick change lithium ion battery, and tapered footrests. The lightweight aluminum frame on the Stasic electric balance bikes allows them to be easily maneuvered by both adults and kids of various ages and capabilities. Understanding and managing throttle control is a key development point for young riders. The twist throttle on Stasic bikes are designed to match the action of a combustion engine better than any other competitors on the market. When we were kids, we all had this one dream, riding dirt bikes. With Kuberg Motorcycles, now this dream will come true. 